If you log into your Google My Business profile and you see this, you're in trouble. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reinstate your listing if it has been suspended, but mostly how to avoid a suspension in the first place. Hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips, and tricks to help your small business grow online step by step and click by click. If it is your first time here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. One way for Google to fight spammers across local search results is to suspend business listings that seem suspicious or do not stick to Google's guidelines. Even if you've created your listing in good faith, your business could be at risk. I see many business owners create what they think is a legitimate listing, but make mistakes along the way, making them vulnerable to a suspension. But not all suspensions are made equal. So let's first have a look at suspensions types. There are two types of suspensions, hard suspensions and soft suspensions. If your listing has received a hard suspension, you will be in a world of pain. A hard suspension basically means that your listing has simply been removed from Google Maps. This mostly happens when Google believes your listing is spamming the map results or just illegitimate. Without a listing, anyone looking for your business will not find you, which is likely to be very costly, as you will miss out on customers. A soft suspension means that your listing will still show up in Google search results so searchers can still find you. But your listing, however, will be put into an unverified state. You will no longer be able to edit your business information, but it can easily be edited by random users, so it's important you deal with this as soon as possible. In either case, Google won't tell you why your listing was suspended, and the only information you will be given is that your location was suspended due to quality issues. Google will not tell you any more than that, but here is a list of common reasons your listing may have been or might be suspended. Stuffing keywords in your business name. This is very common. Many businesses do it, sometimes without even knowing it. Here is a typical example for a dentist located in Richmond, London, who added the keyword dental practice to its name. Although it helps rank higher in Google Maps, it is against Google's guidelines and may result in your business listing being suspended. So if you have added any keywords in your business name, I suggest you remove them now. Misuse of business address. If you are a service area type of business, such as a plumber, electrician, or others, and visit customers at their home, you shouldn't add a physical address to your listing, like in this example of a carpet cleaner. Instead, hide your address and specify which service area your business can cover. You can add up to 20 locations. PO boxes, virtual addresses, and UPS store boxes cannot be used as an address. Misuse of website URL. Do not use the website field URL to point visitors to a social media profile or a website that is not your business website or any other page you think might be useful. Incorrect opening hours. Do not show your business as being open 24 hours a day if it's not, even if you deal with a call center facility as Google will want to know when you're open for business and when you're not. Creating a listing if you are an online business only. Google My Business is for local businesses. If you run an online only business, you are simply not eligible to a listing. If you decide to create one anyway, it's just a matter of time before Google removes it, so don't bother. High risk industries. Some industries are notorious Google My Business spammers. For example, locksmiths, auto repair contractors, HVAC contractors, and believe it or not, lawyers all fall into this bucket, like this personal injury lawyer located in Wisconsin. If you fall into a high risk category, your listing is likely to be under more scrutiny than others, so make sure you adhere to Google's guidelines to the letter. Fake listing. I got a call once from a prospective client, a locksmith, who wanted me to help manage 80 listings. When I asked him if he had 80 locations, he told me that he was simply creating listing and paying random people to verify them across the whole city so he could extend his reach. Creating fake listing is a very bad idea and will eventually get you banned. Needless to say, I didn't take him on as a client. Fake reviews. It's very tempting to get someone to post fake Google reviews for your business and very easily done. Do not succumb to the temptation. If you get caught, not only your listing will be suspended, but it's also illegal in many countries. There are many other reasons why your listing might get suspended, but these are the most common ones. And 
Getting these rights should keep you clear of trouble. But what about if your listing is already suspended? Here is what you need to do to fix it. Firstly, do not create a new listing under any circumstances. Doing so could cause you to lose your existing rankings and your reviews. The next thing you need to do is to go through the list we've just covered and correct your listing when necessary, so it is in compliance with Google's guidelines. Once you've done this, you will need to request your listing to be reinstated using the Google My Business Local Business Reinstatement request. Add as much detail as possible. Do not submit multiple requests. One is enough. To prove the legitimacy of your business, Google might ask you to provide some documents, such as photos of the business location, which include signage, a business license, utility bills to prove you are at the stated address, company cars with logo, tax papers. Reinstatement can take some time, but if after three weeks you still haven't heard anything, here is what you can do. Reach out to Google through their Twitter account. They are generally very responsive and tell them you are trying to reinstate your listing. Alternatively, you can also use their Facebook page. You can also get some help on the Google My Business community forum where you can find Google My Business experts who are in touch with Google directly. To avoid a listing suspension, make sure you stick to Google's guideline religiously. I suggest you go through my video, Google My Business Optimization, which covers everything you need to know about your Google My Business profile. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the description below and I'll do my best to respond to them. Until next time, happy marketing.